a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people. As usual, we pick out any spot here. Let's uh, go here to uh, uh, Colossians 4, uh, page 696. Uh, Colossians 4, 6, 9, 6. Let's go to this, uh, let's go to 18, the last one here. Uh, uh, be able to read it better. I need my reading glasses. Right? See, because the uh, the Gullah font is the is the larger font right there, and the King James version of the Holy Bible, at least the, uh, you know, the New Testament is written in it's, it's that smaller font written in that. Shakespeare, you know, Christopher Marlowe language that King James uh, well communicated in. So let us read 18. With me on hand, I did write this part. I, Paul, the tell on a key, on a must John forget that I, they, ye, e, the dear house in chains. I pray that God bless honor. And the translation is, the salutation by the hand of me, Paul. Remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen. And uh, we do a second reading. And the reason why we're reading these things is, uh, well, reading out of the uh, Gullah Bible is because on my, my maternal side, I have uh, Gullah Geechee. And um, I was always curious as to how the uh, my people's I learned how to uh, uh, read and write so quickly. You know, came literate rather rather quick after they was freed, and uh, the answer, of course, was they had the only book they had was the King James version of the Holy Bible, and so they translated that into their own language. So once once again, let's read it one more time. With me own hand, I did write this part. A Paul, the tell owner, hey, owner must don't forget that. A day way in the dear house and chain. I pray that God bless honor. And the translation is uh, the salutation by the hand of me, Paul. The uh, remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen. And a reading from uh, the uh, the Gullah the Gullah Bible. And by me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.